I'm tired today. You're tired. I'm tired too. <laughs> you are. So you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your name? You are. I'm Jill. Jill Schaefer. Jill, right, right. Yeah. Uh, well, where are you from, Joey? I'm actually from Santa Clarita. Mm-hmm. Here. Oh wow. It's super easy for me to get here. Oh shoot. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking over and I don't want to. Oh okay. Um. Also, can you? Me, Jocelyn, or Sterling? Yeah, Sterling. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, I guess, kind of leaned to your left a bit. So I'm trying to get her back okay. up there at the camera. Got gotcha. you. Sterling, can you say one thing? Yep. Yeah. All right, right. Like, because it's like, you're really far away. Right, I got gotcha. you. To do this right. kind of on-camera interview submission. Okay. So, because you're going to suggest to her what content and stuff, and it just, then, you know, she's going to make it her own. Okay, I got it. So, so, when you respond, put the question in your answer. Okay. So, does that make sense? I think so. It's more like I'm, it's, n- I'm really not here, except maybe in verse, I don't know exactly. I think so. I, already I think know. I understand. All right. Okay. Oh, also, do you still want adjustments, like, do you want to, or just have this still? Um, you mean, like? Camera shot? Yeah. No, I did. Just one. I liked this. The frame of this, I think, was the best okay. when I saw it. Cool. Sweet. Can I get another clap? Yeah. Thanks. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jill Schaefer. Where are you from? I am from Santa Clarita, which is actually right here. It's super easy for me to get here. I love it. Couldn't be any easier. Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? I would say, I don't necessarily, I would say, let me just start that line over. Um, Do I believe in ghosts? I would say not necessarily the word ghosts. But I do believe in energy, and I think that sometimes energy vibrates slowly over in one area and then faster over in another area. So maybe this area that's vibrating more quickly could be considered a ghost, but I wouldn't use necessarily the term ghost. Uh, what? I read on your thing you're a uh, vegan. Or can you tell me about that? I am vegan. I have been vegan for 10 years. It has been amazing. I feel great. I I have never felt healthier in my life, and I feel like I'm doing something good for the environment. I'm not harming animals, you know, and I mean, who wants to harm an animal? That's just awful. Um, yeah. Awful. What's, what kind of shows do you like if, if when you watch movies or TV? What do you like? My favorite show in the entire world is the show Friends, the sitcom series. I love it. I have watched the entire series multiple times. It just, I love the characters. I love their relationships. I think they're super funny. They know who they are. They're just spot on. Uh... I also really like, um, I guess if you go to the drama side of things, I really like Game of Thrones. That just, that's like hardcore. I like, I like Game of Thrones a lot. Well, if you were on Friends, who would you be? Oh, that's such a hard question. I ask myself that question. Okay. So if I were on Friends, who would I be? God. Okay. So I feel like such a part of me is Rachel. Um... But there's this like tiny part of me that is also Monica because she's extremely uh, knows how she likes things, knows what she wants and where she wants them to be. But Rachel is just a bit more, you know, free and happy and kind of, I wouldn't say oblivious, but maybe oblivious, which sometimes I can be oblivious. And then what? Then what do you hate? Like, what do you refuse to watch? Or oh god, okay. So shows or movies that I hate to watch. 
my least favorite movie of all time is Groundhog Day. I hate that movie. I hate that movie. I literally, like, oh, it makes me so angry. I just can't even handle that movie. Just the name of the movie, I can't. No. Worst movie ever made. Sorry, Bill Murray. Great actor, but, uh, yeah, not my favorite. What? what um, why do you want to work here? I want to work here because I just, there aren't a lot of opportunities out there for actresses that are just starting out, especially my age. I am a bit older, and I just want to get involved in something that means something with people that are like-minded and we can get together and create something fantastic and fabulous and something that's not been out there before. Well, if you could make a, your own show, what would you do? If you... If I gave you, I said, you're hired, now make a show for me, what would you, what would you do? Um, if I could make any show I wanted, it would be a Western type show, but it would be based on women. So, and there's a lot of area to do that out here in Santa Clarita. So, um, but I just think that, you know, the Westerns, the old ones, it's like all men and the women are these damsels and they're in these dresses that are ridiculous. But in my mind, it would be these women that are strong and they're the ones in the chaps and they're the ones who like, you know, pull the trigger and all that shit. Yeah. What do you think happens when you die? What do I think happens when I die? I think that... People just become part of everything. Uh, they go everywhere. It's kind of like that energy I was talking about when it comes to the word ghosts. I think it's like a glue that holds everybody together. No one ever leaves. What do you think about the direction our country is heading right now? Like the direction like our country politically, is Politically, like President Trump. And what do you think about all of the politics that are going on, the way this guy talks, he's um, misogynistic and pits people against each other. Do you pay any attention to that or politics in this time? Politics. Um, I'm not really political. Uh, I hear people say the word Trump. I don't really know what the fuck that means. Uh, yeah, I just don't. I don't get involved in that kind of thing. I'd much rather just, you know, not get involved. Oh, um, so you, the, uh, the, oh, uh, you're, you're an actress, right? I am an actress, yes. You I came, you said you came to it late. Um, what could you do here if I hired you? What, I mean, what would I be hiring? I don't need an actress right now. Is there some other skill that you might have or? Uh, if you don't need an actress right now, which is what I'm fabulous at, uh, I definitely, I can run a camera. Uh, there are a lot of self tape auditions happening right now. So I've learned to do that on my own. I think that I could offer that to the team. Definitely. Cut. Um, Tanya, are you there? Jesus, that oh. was rough. How are we? Is there a more that we need on here? I think that's good. Uh, I loved the whole discussion of the shows you love. Um, maybe hit this part about, like, okay, you're in Santa Clarita. Why? Like, what are, what are we doing? Like, basically to get him kind of, like, oh, maybe create a network of people. Um, okay. And... Okay. Is this, you got this from? Yeah, that. Does she know this art? No, okay. I just wrote that. All right, here, read this on over there. Right in the middle, shopping at. Um, so, Santa Clarita, why you love living and working here? Um, do these are the questions you're going to ask me? This is, yeah, I just want you to vamp on, yeah, on shopping at Costco. That the fact that and that living in Santa Clarita that it's an mm -hmm. indis uh, tell us about this town it's a bedroom community for the 
entertainment industry. So you never know who you might run into at Costco or something. You know, you know where I'm going with that? Does that make sense? Something to that effect. Yeah, so focus on Costco. Or just as an example, like if you lived in a town like this, like where could be, what's strategic about living in Santa, Santa Clarita for an actress? Well, you know, whether you're at the gym or is it the grocery store or at the gas station or the cheapest gas is at Costco, you'll run into people and they'll know your face from the roles you've been in. Like just if you could say anything to make it seem to people like, oh yeah, that's smart to live here. Okay. <laughs> okay. This really is a bedroom community for entertainment industry, so you never know who you might run into right. somewhere. Okay. Like. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and then Jack, Are we still rolling? Yeah. Um, okay. Can you go back a little bit, like just to your left? Okay. How's that? Um, can you. More? Look at Pete's head. I still feel like. Good job. Uh, actually really good stuff in sense. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are good. Very good. And then we're still rolling. Uh, when you're ready, please okay. mark it with a clap. All uh, right. Um, can you clap for me? Yes. Oh, and Sterling? Yeah. Just from your original character pages, like yeah. you wrote her as someone who believes in the American dream, so ask her if she believes in the okay. American dream and what does it mean for her. Okay, got it. Were you ready? Yes. So, out here in Santa Clarita, where is your favorite place to shop? Oh, God. My favorite place to shop in Santa Clarita is definitely Costco. I love Costco. They have everything. You can buy appliances. You can buy TVs. You can buy pillows. You can buy organic tofu. They have so much organic stuff now. It is amazing. And the thing about living out here too is you never know who you're going to run into. You know, Costco, getting gas, going to a restaurant. I think it's sort of like a hidden gem that people, a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. You're just going to run into random people or like the teacher at school or what do you mean when you say you never know who you run into? What, who, who, who might you run into? Uh, the people that I think I could run into are people that are working in the industry. They shoot a lot of stuff out here, and people have to run to the store. People stay in hotels if they're coming from, you know, New York to shoot a film. So, just never know. And, shoot, so what did you just tell me? What was that you just said? The American dream. Oh. Like, what do you, is, what right. is, do you believe in the American dream? What is your American dream, and how do you think working here can help you? Uh, I do believe in the American dream. I've watched it happen with a couple of people that I know from my past. I really think that if you set your mind to something and you work really, really hard and just put one foot in front of the other, you can do it. You can make anything happen, which is why I'm here right now. I want to be an actress and I'm finding ways to get myself up into that place where I feel I have created my passion for myself and I'm there. So for me, coming from where I came from, which was not the greatest place, not the greatest family, uh, didn't have a lot of anything really. And I now have an apartment because I was able to get a job and I hope to just keep moving up forward and forward and forward. And cut. All right. So what time is it? Oh. Yep. All right. We're good. Thank you, Maya. Oh, that's really lovely. Thank you. Sweet. Oh, you're lovely. Thank you, though.